welcome back. My name is Catherine, and today we're talking about tax brackets. When most people talk about tax brackets, they're usually talking about the federal income tax brackets. Some people might say, oh, I'm in the 24% bracket or I'm in the 12% bracket, but this is misleading and it's not really how it works. Being in a tax bracket doesn't mean you pay 12% or 24% on all of the money you make in a given year. In fact, according to CNBC, only about half of us know how tax brackets really work. So here's what you need to know. For taxable income in 2018, there were seven tax brackets. 10%, 12%, 22%, 24%, and then 32, 35, and 37%. The bracket in how much federal tax you owe depends on your taxable income as well as your filing status. By filing status, we mean if you're filing singly, you're filing married and jointly, or you're filing married but separately. According to my analytics, most of you fall between the less than 30 years old range, so we are going to be looking at single filers, and so people that are filing their taxes but are not married. So the way this works is for the first $9,525 you make, you are taxed at 10%. If you make less than that, then you could say all of your income is taxed at that 10% rate. You are in that tax bracket. But let's say you make a little bit more. You don't make $9,525 a year. You make, say, $16,000 a year. That means you're falling into this second bracket here, which is taxed at 12%. And this tax bracket goes from 9,526 to 38,700. Now, this does not mean that your entire income is taxed at 12%. You can think of the income as falling into brackets. And so that first $9,525 you made, that was in the first income bracket. And that portion of your income is only taxed at 10%. Now the next dollar you make that puts you in that next tax bracket at 12%, anything you make above that will be taxed at that next tax rate. So here it says if you make more than $9,525 a year, you are going to owe at least this much in taxes because this much is 10% of 9525 and then you're going to owe 12% of whatever amount that you owe over 9525 so you're owing 10% of that first tax bracket and then whatever money you make next, and so that next $10, $20 you make that's over 9,525, that's gonna be taxed at a 12% rate instead of 10%. Now, let's say you fall into this next income bracket and you make, say, $60,000 a year. The first 9,525 would be taxed at a 10% rate, which would equal out to 952.50. Then you would owe another set of taxes on whatever 12% of the money you made between these numbers Numbers is and when you add all of that together you end up getting four thousand four hundred and fifty three fifty cents so that means if you make at least this much money then you're going to pay at least four thousand four hundred fifty three and fifty cents of taxes then whatever you made over that amount in this case the amount between thirty eight thousand seven hundred and one and sixty thousand that amount will be taxed at twenty two percent so as you make more money, it gets taxed at a higher rate. It doesn't mean your entire income is taxed at that rate. It's just that upper part of your income, that extra dollar you made that put you in that next tax bracket. And we can go on and on with this, but this can be kind of hard to understand when you're just looking at it. But I find from a programmatic perspective, it can be a little bit easier. So I wrote a program. And this is what we have. It's just a JavaScript program here that will run with Node.js. But essentially what it does is it calculates the federal income tax depending on what income you make, so how much you make a year. Now, there are deductions that can come into place that can lower your taxable income, so you pay less taxes. In general, we have something called a standard deduction, which everyone can take. You can get other deductions based on how much you put into your 401k or if you have dependents. There are other things that can come into the equation. And ideally, you want to deduct as much as possible so you don't have to pay as much taxes. But in this case, we're just going to do a standard deduction. We subtract that from the income, and that is the income that now is valid for taxation. We are only calculating it up to this 
tax bracket here. So we're calculating tax rates for this portion of people that make income. This is around most people, 99% of people in the United States fall into this category. So that is what our program calculates. You could add you know, these two tax brackets in. For some reason, the math was getting really weird when I did that, and maybe it was because I was using JavaScript. So we're just not, we're not calculating that. Maybe I was just not doing it correctly. But so here we're essentially saying if you make between 200,000 and 157,501, then you would fall into this category. So you would fall into this tax bracket of 32%. So let's say you made $157,000 this year, and that's your taxable income. So you did make more, but your taxable income is $175,000. Then when we go in here, this is the bucket it would fall into, and essentially you would be falling into this tax bracket right here. You'd max out all of the tax brackets here, so you would pay 10% of whatever money is between zero and 9525 Then you would pay 12% of whatever's in between these two numbers, 22% of whatever's between these two numbers, and we calculate that all here. So you pay that 10%, you pay the 12% of whatever falls between 38,000 and 9,000 essentially, you pay 22% of whatever falls between 82,500 and 38,000 essentially, then you pay 24% of whatever falls between 157,000 and 82,000 or about that and then you really what what you're really determining here is when you fall into that next tax bracket how much did you make additionally and then that additional money that you made that's over 157,000 that's taxed at that 32% rate now let's say you only made $85,000 this year and that's your taxable income so that's after all the deductions are taken out then here your income would fall into this bracket because you did not make more than 157,000, but you did make more than 82,501. So that money that's over 82,000, that would be taxed at a 24% rate. And then the next portion, you'd max out this tax bracket, you max out this tax, tax bracket, and then you max out this tax bracket. So the idea is essentially the same where you pay 10% of the first 9,000 you make and then 12% in that tax bracket and then the 22% of the money that falls into that tax bracket and then 24% of whatever falls into that top tax bracket. So whatever money you make over 82,000 in this case. And then the same thing goes for 38,000 and then for 9,525. Now let's run it, see what actually happens. I'm going to comment out some of these print statements so we can see how much you made. And I compared these to like what the internet was telling me and my program seems to be working. It could also be completely false. And so let me know if it works in the comments or if I made some crazy mistakes, but we are just gonna go node index.js. Yes, okay. If you made $19,000 this year, you owe only $700 in taxes. And I'm comparing it to this thing. So if we put 19,000 here, Hopefully this works in UO, and this is 700 in federal taxes, and so this is what we're calculating here uh, for this next one, which is $30,000. UO about $1,900, and so we can put this in. And of course, why create the program when you could just use, you know, Google and you could figure this out? Now, this rounding is a thing and so yes you could round these numbers up or down um but you can check all these numbers and they do work but this is how much you would owe depending on what you fell into so if you made fifty thousand dollars this year you owe about forty three hundred dollars if you made sixty thousand dollars you owe about this much and i'll make this a little bit bigger so you can see but about sixty five hundred if you made $100,000 this year, you owe about $15,000. And then if you made $200,000, you owe about $41,000. And that shows here as well for $200,000, $408,50. And that's about what we have here. And now because of rounding and all of that, that is maybe where it got a little weird with the numbers later on.
Now, this isn't the only way you can calculate your federal income taxes. In this case, we are using a lot of hard-coded values, which is not very good because tax rates change, tax brackets, the income taxable brackets change. So we made this other algorithm down here, although I do feel like this is the best way to understand how tax brackets work. And when you kind of compare these two side by side of what the nerd wallet has here and then what we have here. But you'll notice tax owed. Instead of calculating these numbers every single time, or rather, no matter which case you fall into, you're always calculating this number. And then if you fall into one of these two cases, you're always calculating these two numbers. And over here, it kind of calculates it for you because it says once you fall into a certain tax bracket, there's actually a maximum amount of taxes you already owe. And it's essentially because you maxed out all of the previous tax brackets. And so you did make every single dollar you could make between zero and 9,525. So you have to pay 10% of all the income you made in this bracket, which in this case ends up being 952 and 50 cents. And then the same thing as we go over and over. So why don't we just save what these maximums are per tax bracket into an array type object? And so that's what we do over here. We say max income per tax bracket. It really should be like max taxes per tax bracket, but I didn't want to rename these. Yeah, let's rename them. So essentially what we did here is these maximum amounts, we put them into an array or an object thing here or a list, I don't remember what JavaScript calls them, but they're in this container type object. And if you don't make at least $9,525, you fall into this category. But if you do make more than that amount, then you have to pay that maximum fee, which is $952, and then pay whatever you made above that. Then, of course, if you fall into that next one up, you pay this amount at least, and then you go ahead and pay whatever you made that was above in that next tax bracket. Same thing, you pay that flat fee here, and then whatever you made in the next tax bracket, and then same thing here, you pay whatever that requirement is right here, and you essentially maxing out those other tax brackets, and then creating that final value by adding in what you made in the next tax bracket and taxing it at that new rate. And we did some calculations, and I'm gonna run this in the terminal real quick. And you'll see these numbers are about the same. They're not exactly the same, they're cents off. So here we have 72 and here we have 18 cents and this is like a dollar more. So yeah, depending on when you do the math, certain rounding things will happen. When those happen, do they matter? In this case, it costs you a dollar if you make $200,000 a year. This is essentially another way to do it. Of course, you can calculate all you want, but if the government says you owe money or you owe less money than you actually do, then that's the real, that's the standard of truth right there. If the IRS says you owe more money, the Internal Revenue Service, then you owe more money. The government decides how much, yes, there are tax laws and these are the things in place, but overall, whatever number they come up with at the end of the year that you owe, you probably owe that amount. This is also just an estimate, and we were only calculating federal income taxes. There are state taxes, there are lots of taxes, there are self-employment taxes, lots of them out there. If you want more information on those, I can make another video about it. Just let me know in the comments. This is also still not a perfect algorithm. While it makes the most sense for someone that's trying to understand tax brackets and how they work and how a dollar that you make in that first income bracket will not be the same as the dollar you make in maybe the third or fourth tax bracket, they're taxed differently. This is a way to understand it, but I'm sure you could write a more efficient and a better algorithm than this. Use the tax rates for 2019, see if you can change it around a little. Can you make it so that the algorithm, you can input maybe what the tax rates and tax brackets are and then let that be calculated for that year. You could also add more deductions like your 401k, what you're contributing to that and that sort of thing. Going back to the bigger picture, taxes apply to income, not people. Certain parts of your income will be taxed at one rate and other parts of your income will be taxed at another rate depending on how much money you make throughout the year. There's this great graph from CNBC that talks about how people think taxes work and how they actually work. And in reality, it's not a great shift from when you get to another tax bracket and now you're in a new tax rate and all of your income is taxed at that rate. In reality, it's more of a nice curve where the next dollar is just taxed at a higher percentage. It doesn't affect the money you've already made. 
The reason now everyone's talking about taxes and tax brackets is because a few laws were recently changed and these are the new brackets and tax rates that we have now. Every year they change because of inflation and that's why you see the 2019 brackets are a little bit different. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Catherine and this was Tax Brackets. If you want more information on this, let me know down in the comments any video ideas you have and happy coding.